Hello YouTube family, welcome back to our channel. Today we dive into the intriguing tale of Methuselah's longevity as mentioned in the Bible. This is a story that has kept humanity on its toes for centuries, a tale of a man whose life spanned an incredible 969 years. Let's set the stage. In the ancient and sacred texts of the Bible nestled within the verses of the book of Genesis, we find Methuselah. His name has become a byword for longevity, and for good reason. According to these scriptures Methuselah lived for 969 years. Yes, you heard it right. 969 years. This staggering number leaves us with the burning question, just how did Methuselah manage to live for so long? Methuselah, the son of Enoch, and the grandfather of the renowned Noah, is a figure shrouded in mystery. The scriptures don't offer us a detailed account of his life, or an explanation for his extraordinary lifespan. Could it have been divine intervention, a mystical blessing, or perhaps a secret diet lost to the annals of time? As we journey through this fascinating tale, we'll also consider the scientific perspective. Could modern science shed light on the biological feasibility of Methuselah's extraordinary lifespan? We'll delve into theories and hypotheses, exploring everything from potential genetic factors to the environmental conditions of Methuselah's time. We'll also discuss the cultural impact of Methuselah's story. This ancient figure's life has not only shaped religious beliefs, but has also left a lasting mark on our culture, influencing art, literature and even our everyday expressions. So, are you ready to embark on this journey through time, to unravel the enigma of Methuselah, and perhaps even challenge your own perceptions of life and longevity? Buckle up, because we're about to embark on a journey through time, and unravel the enigma of Methuselah. Methuselah was the son of Enoch and the grandfather of Noah. But what factors contributed to his incredible lifespan? A tantalizing question indeed. Let's delve into the scriptural analysis to shed some light on this mystery. In the pages of the Holy Bible, specifically in the book of Genesis, Methuselah makes his appearance. He is mentioned as the son of Enoch, an individual known for his righteousness and closeness to God. Methuselah is also recognized as the grandfather of Noah, the man chosen by God to survive the Great Flood. The Bible, however, remains silent on the specifics of Methuselah's long life. It merely states that he lived for 969 years, making him the oldest person ever recorded in human history, according to the scriptures. But the details of how he managed to live for nearly a millennium are shrouded in mystery. The scriptures do not offer any clear explanations or descriptions of Methuselah's lifestyle, diet, or habits that could account for his extraordinary longevity. This silence leaves us with an enigma that has sparked curiosity and speculation among scholars, theologians, and enthusiasts alike. The lack of specific information has also given birth to numerous interpretations and theories. Was Methuselah's long life a result of divine intervention? Did he follow a particular diet or regimen that contributed to his longevity? Or was there something more mystical at play, perhaps a unique blessing bestowed upon him? In the absence of concrete answers, we are left to ponder and speculate. The story of Methuselah serves as a reminder of the fascinating mysteries hidden within the pages of the Bible. It invites us to delve deeper, to question, and to seek answers to the profound questions it presents. So, as we turn the pages of this ancient book, we are left to wonder, was there a divine intervention, a special diet, or perhaps something more mystical? The story of Methuselah continues to intrigue us, and his extraordinary age remains one of the most fascinating mysteries of the Bible. Can modern science provide insights into the plausibility of such a long life? This is the question that has intrigued scholars and scientists alike when it comes to Methuselah's extraordinary lifespan. To begin with, let's consider genetics. It's a well-known fact that our genes play a significant role in our longevity. Some scientists propose that Methuselah might have possessed a unique genetic makeup that allowed him to live far longer than his contemporaries. Perhaps he had a rare mutation that slowed down his aging process or enhanced his body's ability to repair cellular damage. Another theory suggests the influence of environmental factors. The world during Methuselah's time was drastically different from what we know today. Some scientists hypothesize that the pre-flood environment as depicted in the Bible might have had conditions that were more conducive to human longevity. The composition of the atmosphere, the intensity of solar radiation, the quality of food, all these factors could have contributed to Methuselah's extraordinary lifespan. We should also consider the role of diet and lifestyle. Ancient civilizations were known for their holistic approach to health and wellness. Could Methuselah's lifestyle and diet have played a role in his longevity? It's a possibility that can't be discounted. 
It's important to note however, that these are just theories. The scientific community hasn't reached a consensus on Methuselah's longevity, and the mystery continues to intrigue us. In the end, the story of Methuselah offers more than just a tale of extraordinary longevity. It invites us to reflect on our own lives, our mortality, and our quest for longevity. It encourages us to keep exploring, questioning, and seeking answers. Join us as we dig deeper into these fascinating theories and speculations. The story of Methuselah continues to captivate us, and as we peel back the layers, we might just find that the truth is stranger than fiction. Was Methuselah's longevity a metaphorical representation, or did he possess a unique genetic code? This question has puzzled scholars and enthusiasts alike. There are some who believe that Methuselah's longevity could be a metaphor, a symbolic representation of wisdom and experience. This theory suggests that the number of years lived is not literal, but rather a reflection of Methuselah's spiritual maturity and divine favor. Then there are those who speculate about a unique genetic code, could Methuselah have carried some form of anti-aging gene that allowed him to live for such an extended period? While modern science hasn't discovered such a gene, the idea certainly sparks imagination and curiosity. Another theory worth mentioning is the translation hypothesis. Some scholars argue that the Hebrew word for year could have been mistranslated, suggesting that Methuselah may not have lived for 969 years, but for a shorter period. Now let's shift gears and look at the cultural impact of Methuselah's tale. His story has permeated various forms of art and literature over centuries. Painters have depicted Methuselah in their works, and authors have used his name as a metaphor for exceptional longevity. Even in modern-day expressions, Methuselah's name is invoked to refer to someone of great age. It's fascinating to see how an ancient biblical figure continues to hold relevance in our contemporary world. But perhaps the most profound impact lies in the realm of religious beliefs. Methuselah's story has shaped perspectives on life, death, and divine intervention. His longevity serves as a testament to the power of faith and a reminder of the mysteries that lie beyond human understanding. In the end, whether you lean towards the metaphorical representation, the genetic theory, or the mistranslation hypothesis, one thing is clear. Methuselah's tale continues to captivate minds and stir conversations. The tale of Methuselah has not only shaped religious beliefs but has also left an indelible mark on our cultural landscape. It's a reminder that stories regardless of their origin, have the power to transcend time and influence generations. As we conclude our journey into the untold story of Methuselah's longevity, we invite you to share your thoughts. We've traveled through time, delving into the mystery of Methuselah's extraordinary lifespan, from the biblical accounts that place him in the lineage of Noah to the scientific perspectives that grapple with the plausibility of a near-millennium lifespan, we've explored various angles on this enigma. We've contemplated the historical context that surrounds Methuselah, a figure whose name is now synonymous with longevity. We've evaluated scriptural interpretations and scientific theories from divine intervention to genetic factors and environmental conditions of ancient times. We've also pondered the fascinating theories and speculations that color this age-old tale. Is Methuselah's longevity a metaphorical representation, or could there be a unique genetic code that defies the aging process? Additionally, we've considered the cultural impact of Methuselah's story, examining how it continues to influence art, literature, and our modern-day expressions. This journey has been a testament to the power of inquiry and the allure of mystery. It's a reminder that our world is filled with wonders and enigmas that are waiting to be unraveled. But the exploration doesn't have to end here. We invite you to join the conversation, share your thoughts and theories on Methuselah's longevity. Could there be a scientific explanation or do you lean towards a more mystical interpretation? We'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this journey into the untold story of Methuselah's longevity. Remember, every like helps us bring more captivating explorations to you. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. This way you'll be the first to know when we embark on our next adventure. This is CJN signing off. See you in the next adventure.